Hi friends, I'm Rhonda and I just want to welcome you back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made these cute little sachets that you can put in a drawer or that you can hang if you choose to make them with a hanger. Um, so they're just super easy and super cute and just have such a wonderful smell to put in your drawer or in your journal or add to a gift. It just kind of makes it a little bit more special. So let's get started and have some fun. So the first thing we'll need is some tea bags. And I use um, the Red Diamond brand. So this would be the family size. And then this would be the gallon size. But these are the family size. So this is what I'm using to make the sachets. So all I did is after I steeped them and I let them dry, then I just cut a little slit in one end of it and I emptied it out and tried to get most of it out. Every once in a while I still find a few little tea grains floating around, but um, you can you can just you know get most of it out like that. Something else about the tea bags is if you choose not to use some that have already had the tea steeped in them, you can buy these on Amazon or wherever you would like to shop from. But and there's different kinds. This is just the one that I had happened to order the last time I ordered. And they are a little bit thin. But they have this long flap. So, you know, and then here, this is how thin they are. So I'm going to try these and just see how they turn out. I haven't ever used them for sachets, but we're going to try them today. So what I'm thinking, since it is so thin, I'm thinking that we'll just fold that to meet that other line. And that'll give a little bit more thickness on this side. And then the, on the other side is where I will actually glue my, my lace and my, my printable, my little artwork. So that'll stiffen up this side. So that's another option if you'd rather have this look, which does look really pretty on a lot of stuff. So we're going to try a few of these too. But I will try to find the link to this one. And if not, I'll just put a link to the the page of different tea bags that you can choose from. So let me show you what else you need. Some lace. Now this was just off of an old blouse. So you can use your little lace remnants if you have any. I have these rolls of lace that you can just cut off of if you if you like that look. So I have that one and I have this one. There's tons of different um, different lace patterns that you can buy. And then I also had found this thanks to a little help. I found this, it comes from the Dollar Tree, and it's just that little snowy tool, so I've added some of that too. So sometimes these are fun to use because they have that little scallop on them if you like that. And then I have this pattern. So this is all just from my little stash of stuff that I have not completely used all of. Um, also, you know, you can bring in some trims whatever kind you want. I also like to use the sheer ribbon, but you can use whatever kind of ribbon you have. Sorry Silk, seam binding, the, the little satin ribbon, just whatever you prefer. You can get you some little wood, uh, the little wood tags, and I have a link below for that too. So you can order those, and then I just painted them with just a regular white craft paint. And you can do whatever color you want. And you could actually do whatever shape you want. If you would rather have a different shape, then you could just use the ovals or whatever and put those in the center of the tea bag. So that's just all according to your preference. But you do not have to have these to make either one. I just kind of like to use the wood pieces, especially on the hanging ones. For the drawer, I don't use these. But for the hanging ones, it just kind of stiffens it and makes it keep its shape better and won't tear that easy. But you could so, use a thicker cardstock or just a regular cardstock would be fine too. Um, I like to kind of round the edges of my my printables so you'll just want to kind of pick out whatever you want to put on your tea bag to be the focal point. Okay so here I have some that I have already kind of put together just so it wouldn't take me quite so long to make decisions on camera. So I'm just going to show you some ideas that I had and I just kind of piece them together just to kind of see. So we're going to glue these, work on these here in a second, 
But this is just a few ideas um, to kind of gather your whatever little scraps or whatever you might be using today. So I just kind of put some together just to kind of give you an idea and then we'll work on them as we go. You can kind of see which look you prefer and gather your supplies from there. This is actually a piece of vellum and I like to do them on vellum because it kind of lets you see through to the tea bag. Um, so that looks really pretty on some of them too. So the only other thing that I think other than charms, if you want to hang charms from the bottom, tie a ribbon at the bottom, the only other thing that I, I did on mine that if you're interested is on the tag I went around the edges with my gold wax and also have silver so that is totally up to you you could even ink around the edges you could just get a tiny little bit of paint just it, it's just up to you so you do, don't have to do that but if you want to add just that extra little element there then you can just take your finger and rub your little wax around that that tiny little fine edge there and it'll just add a little bit more detail so I'll go ahead and do one of those just so you can kind of see if you like that look or not. So all I do is just take a little bit of my wax and you can use paint or whatever you prefer. I'm gonna make sure it's the front. You can tell a little bit of difference in how they're shaped here. So I'm gonna get on that front side and then I'm gonna just take my finger and run along that edge. And it's just gonna add a little bit of a silver shimmer there. And there's so many colors of this wax that you can choose from that just add a little bit more depth to it. So there's that. And that will be the base for one of them. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one on top. I'm going to let that wax dry just a second. So while that's drying, I'm going to take my little corner round and go ahead and round these edges. And something else I didn't mention is if you like the edges of your artwork to stress or kind of darken to where you can see them better, I like to do it because it makes them kind of pop away from your background. Kind of brings brings them to the focal point. So I just like to kind of ink around the edges just for that purpose. Just kind of makes them look a little more finished to me. So if you like that look, then go ahead and do that. And then have to put something inside of it so that it doesn't close up when you're gluing. Okay, so I just have these little cardstock pieces and I'm going to go, it's got like a little flap in there, so I'm going to go behind that flap if I can. And that way, I'll still have use of that whenever I put my beads in there. I'm going to go ahead and fold this in the fold where I wanted it, so that I don't make a mistake and glue it to where I can't fold that down anymore. And you could cut your cardstock down to fit that space better, but I'll just fold it. Okay, so now we're gonna work with the, the front side. So I think I like, I like it with this little lace on the side. I honestly don't need this. I'm gonna make this one a, a drawer sachet because it is smaller. So basically, that's what I'm looking at. Now, I think I want to add another little piece of lace here. And go on up with it. 
You could even make cute little pockets. That would be something else you could do with this. So I think I'm gonna do that like that. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of some, oh goodness, what do you call it? What do you call this? I always forget the name of this stuff. It just leaves my brain. I'm just going to kind of come under here. Okay, so then I'm going to take, now that I've gotten this kind of secured, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put some glue on the back of it. take and add a sweet little bow and I'll glue that right there okay so let's see if I can get this out of here just gonna see if I can get it to turn loose down there just be super careful with this one's thin alrighty so once you get that out, just make sure you check that sooner than I did because I forgot to, to make sure that it wouldn't glue. Okay, so now we have this open. And that's looking really cute. So I use the Downy, the Scent Booster beads. And this one is the Shea Blossom. It smells really good. Sometimes I use the Ocean Mist. And then the other brand I found works well is the Arm & Hammer, the Sensations, and they are more like crystals. So they, um, they're not more, they're not the beads, they're more just like little crystals. But they, the scent on these is way stronger. So if you like a strong scent, then I would use these. And then, okay, so this one was the Clean Meadow. It smells really good and then the Tropical Paradise. So these, either one will leave you with a really strong scent, but if you'd rather have just a subtle, softer scent, then I found that the Downy is, is better for that. And they actually have these little, almost, almost waxy looking beads. The only thing about it is if you do try a different brand, I would just be careful because, um, kind of test it. Because one brand I used, and I don't remember what it was because it was a good while ago, but it actually made grease spots on my tea bags. So I, I wanted to make sure that I didn't, you know, I know for sure these have done well and the Arm & Hammer. So you'll just have to kind of play with whatever, you know, you would rather use on that. And then I put about a tablespoon and I'm going to use these since my bag is light colored so that it won't really show through. And then you just slide them in there, making a little bit of a mess. You can get you a little spoon or a scooper. It'll probably be less mess. And then okay, that's usually enough. If you feel like it's not quite filling it up like you want it to, then I would, and I was going to try to make sure that these went behind that little flap just so that they would have a little bit more protection and not tear the bag as easy. So I'm just going to make sure those kind of go back behind that little flap there. And it's a little more than um, can fit in there. So you may not need quite that much in these. Okay, so then here's my little fold line. So I'm gonna fold those down and that way it kind of gives an extra layer there. And then I'm just gonna glue it shut. 
So I'll just put a fine line here. And that way it should seal it up pretty good. And you could use your little tape runner if you'd rather that. Any of that would work. Because this may kind of bleed through if you'd rather it not show. So I'm just going to take and pull it all the way down to meet that little line. So there we have it. And you could even glue this down, which I think I'm going to do because I don't really like that flapping up. So this is just that extra little flap and um, I'd rather it not be waving there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and glue that down to better protect where those beads are. And so there's our little sachet. And that's just really sweet to add in a little drawer or a gift, put it in a little gift bag. And it just adds such a sweet little smell. Um, it just makes it pleasant when they open it or, you know, when you open your drawer. So I'm going to use this one next. And I have this one already done in the silver, so I'm going to use it. So it's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and trim again. I may have to redo my corners. And I'm just going to trim off that tiny little white edge. And that should help it to fit better. All right, let's do these corners again. All right, I'm gonna clean up my mess. So now we have this, and that fits it much better. Okay, so I'm gonna ink the edges really quick. You could go back and use the silver on this too if you want. I'm just going to go with my ink since it's right here. Okay. So that will kind of help it blend with this brown tea bag, I think, too. Okay, so let me put my little piece of paper in there. And you can see I still have some tea in there. I'm going to go shake it out. Okay, so this one will go down in here. Just don't do like me. Don't forget to check it here in a minute. Make sure it didn't glue. Okay, so I have this. And I don't like mine to be perfect. So I kind of stretch it and pull it and rough up those little edges a little bit. So it looks like it's a scrap from somewhere. Doesn't look so brand new and it also kind of ruffles it up a little bit okay so I'm going to put that down now if you want a hanger on it then what I do is I go ahead and I cut my my ribbon that's going to be the little hanger so I cut a piece of ribbon and then I will glue it down behind here so that you don't see it I'm going to go ahead and do that. And honestly, what would work better in there is some of the, like from a sticker sheet, if you save the backing on it, that works really good because it won't stick to it like it does regular paper. And I should have thought about that before I started, but here we are. So I'll just go with what I have. Um... So I just kind of glue those to where you won't see them behind there. Okay, and then I'm going to take and glue. Just put a little bit of glue in the middle to hold my, my lace for now. And whatever angle you want. And then I'm going to glue my wood piece down. And you can kind of adjust if you need to with that lace. That's why I only put a little bit until I figure out exactly how I want it. Get it straight. 
And then I'm gonna go on the back of this. It's already looking pretty. Something else that I did not think about is that if you want something to hang in the middle, a little charm, then I always leave enough lace to attach a little dangle from. So just adjust that if you need to. Okay, so let me check this before it glues it down. Just kind of move it and make sure it's not sticking. Okay, so we've got that. Do something like that or even that. Okay, so I found this too that I may add somewhere. But I found a little jump ring. So I'm just going to attach that to it. Let me get it. See if I can straighten it up a little bit and get it ready. Make sure you get it the right way too. I'm always putting stuff on backwards, not paying attention. I'm just going to put it right through this little spot. Make sure I get it in a good spot to hang. And then we have that. And I don't like how this the bottom little piece looks. So let me see if I can. There we go. Broke right off. So there we have that. Looks like I still have tea in the tea bag. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm just going to put this little bow on it. Maybe just like that. You could always add more lace here too. And honestly, let me see if it's too late to take this off. I'm going to peel this off. Because I really like the look of this lace underneath. So that I'm just going to lay right there. And I'm going to trim it. I'm just going to stretch it out. And then I'm just going to go back and glue this again. Put those corners good so they catch. And then, yeah, I like that much better. It was too much brown. So now, that just adds just exactly what I thought it needed. That's pretty. So let's see about this again. Keep checking it every once in a while. It's trying to stick. I'm going to gently stick my scissors in here and loosen that right there. There we go. Okay, so let's make sure this is still straight on this side. Even it out if it moved any. So that looks really pretty. I love that. And this is off center just a little bit. So let's move it back. Just always remember to check that because it does tend to slide whenever you're adjusting it. So now I'm going to take and put some beads in here. And I think I'm going to use this ocean mist on this one. So, I'm just going to fill up about a tablespoon. Here I go again, spilling everywhere. Okay, so let's see if I can do this better. I filled them up before I decorated them earlier. The last ones I made, I actually filled them up first. But it's a little harder to decorate if you do that. But then it's a little harder to add the beads if you do it this way. So it's just all according to what works for you. So the reason I normally um, fill them up first is so that I can turn this around and glue this side 
to the lace and to the, um, the tag. And that way you don't see this. But if you do this, it's not a big deal because you can always add a piece of lace there. You can always take and add a little piece of washi tape after you glue it. Just like that. So I've done it both ways. And it's just all according to how you want it to turn out in the end. So that is a really cute little sachet that can be hung. Or it can be laid in a drawer either way. Thank you. 